What's going on, everybody? I started off in gear. Um, and getting into position, a lot of people think it's more of um, being flexible and 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 being able, being shorter or whatever. No, it's not. It's about being uh, aware of your back movement, the different different parts of where your back where your back could um, actually move. Um, you have the upper torso part here, your upper back. You have your, <clears throat> at the bottom where your abdomen, and then you have the hips. Um, a lot of people not familiar on those different areas to, to, to keep the back straight and get into the form that I talk about, um, which is the three things that, that uh, need to happen before actually lifting is front delts over the bar, um, rear delts. Uh, directly down, um, straight line down to the bar and the feet, the bar being um, in the middle of the foot. Now, being in the middle of the foot, it changes with, you know, um, with your your proportions. But the biggest thing is, is, um, is those, those three things being in a line for, in order for you to deadlift correctly all right now with the belt the first thing I think of and not saying anything but I started I started my career off in gear and what a lot of people tend to do they don't know how to um, how to handle certain things um, when you lift in a suit there's so many uncomfortable pinching um, uh, scraping the the bone of the belt, digging in the hips and digging in the and digging in the the ribs, um, um, just the suits just pinching and scraping underneath the arms and all this good stuff. Um, and when people just start start into powerlifting, especially raw, they have they have no idea what 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 comes along with it. Um, like I said. Being geared and raw is two different things. So a lot of times you just have to train and learn how to deal with uh, a lot of these things because it's, it's pretty much like when you have a a young lifter or a, a young guy who wants to get in the gym and he it's the first time putting a bar on his back. It's so uncomfortable. It's painful. Obviously, it don't supposed to. It's obviously they think it don't supposed to feel like that, but that's just a part of the game. You got to get used to those little pains and pinches and things like that. Um, um, that's just what it is. Um, and that's what I think about when you say you can't get into form. I think it's more of a, a pinch or a dig into your side to where you feel like, well, that hurts and I'm supposed, I don't supposed to feel that. I can't get into form. So... Um, try it out. Try to try to work through it. But yes, you can get a four, you can can get the three inch belt instead of a four inch belt. But of course, it a little thicker will will give more support. But also another thing that I um I tend to um I tend to do is when I start a when I start a lifter um off into start a lifter off. I have them within the first eight weeks using using no belt, and that's only because they have the supervision of someone that has the experience. Um, I feel like uh, they need to learn how to build that inner belt uh, before they even use a belt, so they know you know how to take advantage of their own body being used as one, and then incorporate a belt. But um, other than that, I hope you take this advice and um, um, figure things out, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.